Good morning guys, what is going on? Today is gonna to be a very fun day because today is a beautiful day here out in the Northeast. It is 46 degrees Fahrenheit and this is the best weather we've had in so long. I'm literally sweating right now, but uh, not only is it just a beautiful day and we're in the BRZ, but we have a very special car part sitting shotgun. It's straight out of Japan. We have some car parts straight out of Japan for the new BRZ. I'm really excited to go ahead and install it. So let's get to the shop and get this package opened up. Now boys, let me tell you, I have been waiting for this package since December. I believe I ordered it at the end of December. And it's now currently the first week of February and I'm just now getting the package, but it's all right because this car part is straight from Japan. And if you're a little wannabe JDM boy like me, car parts from Japan are literally like the coolest things ever. So I'm happy that I'm finally getting it and that we can finally install it onto the BRZ today because let me tell you boys, I have been waiting and I've been just so jealous of everybody with their 86s that already have this part because this part was an option on the GR86s but for some reason, it wasn't an option on the Subaru BRZs. Let me close this door, it's kind of bothering me. Just gotta appreciate that real quick. But the part that I am talking about, boys, is the duckbill spoiler, baby. It's already paint matched to the car. Probably a few less roll marks, but we can just install it and have it look good today. For those of you who don't know, this is a duckbill spoiler. Basically, it just sits onto the spoiler that comes stock on these cars. Look at that. Basically, it's a spoiler on top of the stock spoiler. Pretty sure that this is an option on the GR86s. Unfortunately, it's not an option on the BRZs, at least not in America. So that's why I had to order this from Japan. Now that I got it, we can finally install it and it's gonna look so good. Oh man, I'm excited. Wow, it's not even on the car yet and it just ties the rear end so well. I'm just so confused right now because like Subaru, why wasn't this an option for us? Why was this not an option for the BRZ? Why does only the GR86 get this option? It doesn't make any sense, it looks so good, but let's go ahead, get to installing this thing and then we can appreciate it. Yeah, I think I might have a hard time with these instructions. So I gave this a lot of thought. Now the instructions for this are to drill holes into the stock spoiler in order to reinforce this add-on spoiler. So we have to drill six holes in the stock spoiler. Now along with the screws, we also have a ton of 3M tape that's gonna hold this thing down. Now I've been thinking about not running the bolts. Now the reason is because this wing or stock bill spoiler, whatever you wanna call it, isn't really gonna be staying on the car for long. Now some of you may know, I hinted at it here and there, but we have a Pandem Rocket Bunny kit for this car. So this car is gonna be wide bodied in about a month or so, but before I wide bodied it, I really wanted to enjoy its stock. Now if I drill out six holes into the stock trunk, I'm gonna be creating a lot of work for myself because I'm gonna to have to patch up those six holes when it comes time to put the Rocket Bunny wing on the car. To cover up the holes and make it back to nearly perfect, it's gonna take me at least six hours to patch everything back up. And I'm starting to think it may not be worth it. So I might just remove all of the screws. These bolts can slide out, they have a little slit except for these ones. These ones won't slide out, but I'll just pry off this whole white piece. I might just have to rely on the 3M tape. I'm taking a big risk here, boys, because if I don't screw this in and it ends up falling off and the 3M tape doesn't hold up, I'm gonna be the clown that ruined his nice duckbill spoiler. But on the flip side of it, I only need it to work for about a month or so. For about a month, I need this duckbill spoiler to be held onto that trunk with only 3M tape. And the reason why I feel a little confident about this is because all of the other duckbill spoilers for the Gen 1 BRZ, I don't think they were ever bolted in. I know for a fact on Amanda's car, all we have is 3M tape on her duckbill spoiler and it still hasn't fallen off. So that's what gives me confidence with this one. I'm confident that the 3M tape is gonna hold it. I think that these bolts are just for extra protection just so it doesn't fly off, but we're gonna go ahead, risk it for the biscuit. All 
of the hardware is now off of the spoiler. All we have left is the 3M tape. Now it might be a beautiful day here in Jersey, but it's still under 50 degrees and it's not ideal for 3M tape. We're gonna heat it up with the blowtorch because I lost my heat gun and I have no idea where it is. We'll heat up the 3M tape, make it nice and sticky, place the spoiler onto the spoiler. It's weird. <laughs> We're gonna place the spoiler onto the spoiler and uh, hopefully I don't regret this. So this looks so freaking good right now, but I don't want to show you guys just yet because I have I have a little idea. A bunch of you guys commented that it would look really sick if we blacked out the third brake light. I don't want to show you guys the whole rear end just yet, but look at this. We got the brake lights side to side, and then here is the third brake light. So we blacked out the fourth brake light. It looked amazing. Now I think we might just black out this light too. We got a bunch of leftover tint that I'm going to use on the car, black out the third brake light, and then I'll show you guys the finished product but man, this thing is looking good. Turns out I wasn't really feeling the blacked out third brake light, but man, the back of this car looks so freaking good right now. You know what, let me just go ahead, pull it outside and show you guys what we're working with. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, but this wing is arguably my favorite mod on the car right now. This wing, man, it just ties the whole rear end together. Looks so freaking good. I love how it shoots up. It matches the rear end. And I honestly don't understand why Subaru doesn't offer this. I'm sure if Subaru offered this like Toyota, literally everybody and their mothers would have gotten this as an option. Let me know what you guys think about the wing. Do you guys like it? Is it too much? Is it just enough? Personally, I love it, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. It looks like the middle of the night outside right now, but it's only 7.30 p.m. and it is the perfect time. Well, any time is the perfect time, but it is the perfect time to go out, take the BRZ, and go get some bubble tea. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Some good bubble tea and some good looking cars. That's all you need, really. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, by the way, I drove with the wing on for about an hour. It doesn't look like it's lifting at all from any places, so I think it's safe to say that the 3M tape works. If it falls off, I'll let you guys know, but so far, it's looking like it's good. The 3M tape is really, really strong, so I'm pretty confident in it. We got the duckbill on without any hardware, no drilling, no hardware, only 3M tape. Like I said, if it does fall off or anything, I'll let you guys know so I can give you guys a little warning, but so far, we are in the clear. Thank you. 